our longest trusted English newspaper since 1898. Now available digitally. Computer, order the Manila Times Digital Edition. Subscribed. Get the Manila Times Digital Edition for less than 2 pesos and 50 centavos per day when you sign up for one year. The Manila Times, new source of choice, trusted since 1898. Good day! Here are the top stories of the Manila Times for Wednesday, June 8, 2022. The page 1 banner headline reads, UN says food crises loom. Two UN food agencies have warned about multiple looming food crises on the planet, driven by climate shocks such as drought and worsened by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine that have sent fuel and food prices soaring. Bulusan Ashfall Damage, 20 million pesos, says NDRRMC. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, or NDRRMC, said on Tuesday, total damage to agriculture from the ashfall of Bulusan Volcano's phreatic explosion over the weekend has reached an initial 20.2 million pesos. Marcos spent over 623 million pesos in election campaign. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. spent over 623 million pesos in his campaign for Malacanang, bankrolled largely by his political party, according to his statement of contributions and expenditures submitted to the Commission on Elections on Tuesday. Church to build first center for exorcism in Makati. A center for exorcism will soon rise in Makati City that will minister to those in bondage to the devil and will be the first of its kind in Asia, if not the world. Government allows 100% capacity for shops under Alert Level 1. The government has allowed all establishments under the most lenient Alert Level to operate at 100% capacity, but only for those with full vaccination status, Malacanang announced on Tuesday. Marcos vows rules-based order in West Philippine Sea. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. has agreed to promote international rules-based order and the rule of law to maintain peace and stability in the disputed West Philippine Sea. Duterte tells AFP and PNP to continue drug war. President Rodrigo Duterte has called on the military and the police to perform their sworn duties and save the country as he expressed his deep concern that drug syndicates would again emerge once he steps down from office. Mamao shuts down illegal POEA website. The Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, or POEA's website, considered as the Bible of recruitment agencies and overseas job seekers, has been taken down on orders of Department of Migrant Workers Interim Secretary Abdullah Mamao. School apologizes to Sasot. The Southern Philippine Institute of Science and Technology has apologized to prominent transgender woman and LGBTQ activist Sas Rogando Sasot and the parents of the students for the inhumane stoppage of the senior high school graduation rites by the Church of God last Friday. In regional news, military kills ISIS EA spokesman. The armed forces of the Philippines said on Tuesday they had neutralized the spokesman of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria East Asia, or ISIS-EA, during an operation in Maguindanao on Monday afternoon. In world news, US and South Korea fly 20 jets in show of force. The South Korean and United States militaries flew 20 fighter jets over South Korea's western sea on Tuesday in a continued show of force as a senior US official warned of a forceful response if North Korea goes ahead with its first nuclear test in nearly five years. Russia begins returning bodies from Azovstal. Dozens of bodies of Ukrainian fighters killed at the Azovstal steel mill have been returned to Ukraine by the Russian occupiers of the fortress-like plant in the destroyed southern port city of Mariupol, where their last-ditch stand became a symbol of resistance against Moscow's invasion. In business, inflation jumps to 5.4% in May. Headline inflation further accelerated to 5.4% in May, the highest recorded since the 6.1% in November 2018, data from the Philippine Statistics Authority showed. And in sports, Oftana and Nieto back in action for NLEX. 
Enlex and San Miguel Beer, two teams that fell short of advancing to the championship round in the season-ending Governor's Cup, want to start strong early and set the tone for the new season. Rigoberto Tiglao and Father Anilio Aquino are the featured columnists on the front page of the Times. Tiglao trumpets how top historian questions yellow-slash-US narrative of Marcos and Duterte regimes. Father Aquino celebrates Philippine Christianity's 500 years. In the Times editorial, it is advised that long-term strategies best answer to skyrocketing inflation. Read all about it. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to our digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and keep up with the Times. This is the Fort Vigasaran reporting. Have a great day ahead.